Welcome back to Guide Station and in, the, in this tutorial we are going to explore all the five types of chamfer that we can use in SOLIDWORKS so let's just start from the part and before starting the tutorial if you are new to Guide Station then uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so uh, we have opened the window now I'm going to change the units to millimeters and now I'm simply going to select top lane and just randomly I'm going to make one and the second rectangles now features and extra boss base this one and this one this is going to be uh, the height of 40 mm Okay, now here you you can find the chamfer here in the drop down. If I just click on this, now you can see we have one, two, three, and four, five types of chamfer. And uh, most of us commonly use the first type only, uh, but uh, we can use any of these uh, five types uh, depend upon our use. So the first one is, uh, you can see if I just hold on it, uh, it shows angle distance. That means if I just select any edge, the chamfer is going to be at some distance uh, with some angles. If I just increase this uh, distance, the chamfer uh, distance will increase. If I want uh, this side or uh, the angle between uh, these two lines, uh, increase or decrease, then I can simply use uh, the angle like this. Okay, uh, this is the first step uh, which we have used commonly many times. And uh, one more thing, uh, you can see if I just increase or decrease the angle, the distance uh, is changing in this direction. But if I just want to fix this uh, distance, but want to change this side, so I can flip direction. Now you can see this side will be constant or, or fixed. Look, the upside is moving. This is the first step. So I'm going to just make the first chamfer here. Now again, I'm going to second chamfer. And in this, this is the distance distance. I let me show you. Uh, it shows distance, distance. So if I just click on it, you can find, uh, okay, let's select this one or this one. Now let me take it to the front. Now you can see distance, distance, so we have two options, symmetric or asymmetric. Symmetric means uh, both distance between uh, from here to here and from here to downside or uh, both may be same. If I just increase both uh, dimensions uh, or both sides is changing. If I just go to asymmetric, then we have two options. Uh, I can increase one side's dimension and decrease, let me five, decrease the other side. So let me change here. Now this is our second type of chamfer and I'm going to again chamfer. And this time uh, we have the third that is the most uh, important you can say this is vertex if we just click on this uh, the main uh, feature or main point for this chamfer is that if we are going to use this four type of chamfer we have to select the page but for this uh, fifth type or you can say the third type we need a vertex vertex means uh, like where three lines are intersecting this is one vertex one Two and the three line, uh, these three lines are uh, intersecting here. Similarly, this one is vertex, this one is vertex, and this one is vertex. We can apply this chamfer uh, in any of the corner. I'm selecting this one now. In the vertex chamfer, we have again uh, equal distance. If I just click on equal distance, then uh, we have only from dimension. If I increase uh, both. Uh, both um, all the three sides is increasing uh, look if I just make 25 uh, all the sides change to 25 
if I just reduce it, all sides are reduced. But if I just unclick on this equal distance, then we have three uh, dimensions or parameters. Um, all three are showing the distance between each lines. If I just increase this five, we can see it's increasing downside. Look, if I just increase this one, it's uh, changing in one direction. And similarly, this one is changing in the third direction. So this is how you can use the vertex shuffer. Uh, let me done it. Now, uh, we are going to backside. Again, going to chamfer. As we have used uh, these two chamfers, uh, the bottom two are related or uh, same as to the top two. This one is showing, let me show offset phase. It's quite simple or you can say the similar. If I just click on this edge and reduce the parameter, let me first show you symmetric. Similarly, we have the option symmetric. Symmetric means both our dimension will change as per my parameter. I have two mm. If I increase to eight mm, both sides are increasing. If I just go to asymmetric, similarly, if I just reduce this A to 2 mm and this to 5 mm. So you can see uh, one parameter affects the one side and other parameter affects the other side. So this is our offset phase uh, chamfer. Now we have the last one that is here, this is face face. Now we don't need a sharp edge. Now we need two faces. Uh, you can see they are two selecting. Uh, if I just click on face one and click on this face two, it shows a chamfer. Now again, uh, there are four options, but we are going to use only symmetric and asymmetric. Similarly. So if I go to symmetric, uh, the both parameter or both uh, sides will change its dimension equally. 12 minutes we take 8 mm. Look, now if I just go to asymmetric, this is again same. If I just want to increase, uh, this side is increasing. If I just go to this side, it's increasing. So this is how you can use the fifth type of chamfer. In so uh, in this tutorial, we have the, uh, explored all the four types of chamfer. Uh, the most common that is angle distance. Then we use the distance distance. And in the third, we use the vertex chamfer. And the remaining two that is similar to the first two, I'm not going to again uh, tell it right now. So this is uh, going to be complete uh, here. I hope you can understand and explore all the five types of chamfers. And this tutorial comes uh, to be learning for you. Then I hope you will subscribe to the channel and share to your friends. Thank you.